guys what's up and welcome back to betha's kitchen betha's corner long time no recipe i'm so sorry but you know what today we are going to be breaking that barrier because i'm here with a banger okay i'm here with a banger because first of all it's my birthday month all right today is actually the third of june and i decided that you know since it's 11 days to my birthday let's just do something bougie i know that that does not correlate but just flow with me okay just let's flow together all right in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how i make my crispy chicken breast as well as my kele willy now if you guys don't know what kele willy is it's a recipe that's enjoyed by our Ghanaian brothers and sisters and i thought it would be nice to just show you guys my version of that because i know that there are different versions of kele willy here on the internet so yeah if that's something you're interested in then please do keep on watching and like i said because i'm feeling bougie i'm going to be showing you both of these recipes in one video which means this is my birthday gift to you okay so you need to package your birthday offerings to me because my birthday is on the 14th and you know i don't want to hear story okay if you need my account number just ask me and this is what you need ask me i will give you all right anyways without wasting any more time let's just get right into the recipe okay Ryan Little. <laughs> so guys, the first thing I'll be adding into the bowl is our chicken breast. I already chopped it up into um, dice sizes or cube sizes if you like. So I'm just going to pour that here. And of course, we want to just spice this up a bit. And I'm going to be adding my ginger powder that will go in, my garlic powder, my paprika, just a tiny bit of oyster sauce. I'm actually going to leave the quantity in the description box so you guys can get it perfectly. So this is my oyster sauce. My soy sauce, this is the light one. This is not really the dark one. So if you have the dark one, you can use that as well. Melted butter. So what I did, I just put the butter on fire and heated it up a bit, you know, so that it will dissolve. So I'm pouring that in. And last but not least, our uh, egg so this is one egg one raw egg all we did was to beat it and i'm going to pour that in as well so we're just going to mix this all up i had to wear a glove because i mean they said corona day oh they clean now at this point we fully incorporated everything into the chicken so what we're going to do next is just Cover this up with a clean film and leave it to marinate for about 30 minutes and then we'll come back to it, okay? So guys, it's been 30 minutes but right now we want to make the mix for the chicken. So first off, I'm going to be pouring one cup of all-purpose flour into a dry bowl. I'll be adding paprika, black pepper, garlic powder, and some salt. So I'm just going to mix this all properly. So right now we're going to pour in our chicken into this and combine. Now it's been properly combined, so we're just going to move on to the next step. Yeah, I cannot chase you, I cannot fly, I cannot make you, you make up your mind, you want me to prove it to you. To see what I lose If I cannot find you up in the dust If I stand here waiting what you think I must Stay here for days Losing my way I'ma go home, I'ma type up my thoughts Print it out, color don't stick Dancing in your socks When you read it, let me know if I'm enough I keep on spitting facts and you know that I don't bother Chase you, I cannot fly, I cannot make you make up your mind. You want me to 
All right, guys, over to the fun part, the Kele Wele. I'm just going to show you how to slice your plantain. Of course, you guys know that Kele Wele has a unique shape, which is exactly what I'm trying to show you guys. So you want to cut your plantain into halves and then cut it again where you have that black part. I don't know what they call that part, but just follow what I'm showing you, okay? You cut it there and, you know, you follow the process by cutting it into tinier pieces again. But then they have this very beautiful shape, which is something I really, really love. You know what, better just shut up, stop rambling, let them watch you, okay? So guys, we're going to blend these onions A little clove Ginger And a little water At this point we have our plantain ready so we're just going to spice this up a little bit so i'm going to add some salt i mean i like to fry my plantain with salt so if you don't you can skip this some pepper for spice you know you want it to be hot that's why it's even kelly really in the first place so i'm using cameroon pepper and i'm just going to transfer our blended onions clove ginger and a little bit of water into this no grab this thing. and I'm just going to mix this all up now you want to wear a glove because of the pepper pepper inside your eye now you know so this gives a lot of flavor to the plantain and this is majorly eaten by our Ghanaian folks I really love it and they serve this with granite to be honest like it takes it to a different level they serve this with granite so the way we have boli and granite they have kelewele and granite I know that people spice theirs very differently so feel free to play around with your spices okay now that this has been fully mixed in together, I'm just going to fry, okay? Guys, this is our final product. So yes, we have our Kele Wele here, which is just basically spiced plantain. You know, it has a lot of spice and flavor to it. And of course, it is always, always accompanied with some granuts. And of course, we have our crispy chicken breast. So this is basically what I'm going to be having for brunch at this point because it's already past 12 and you know, I've not had breakfast and this is also going to cover for lunch okay i'm just going to have this with maybe a glass of fresh juice trust me if i chop finish now sleep with me okay all right guys let me know if you enjoyed this recipe tell me if you're going to be trying out the kele wele or if you're going to be trying out the crispy chicken or better still if you're going to be trying out everything okay i love you guys so much i hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed showing you guys how to prep it and yes i'll see you guys on the next one all right bye